good morning so this morning we are starting a new project I got the skid steer here and this whole house is getting a makeover we are doing a travertine paver driveway a travertine pool deck in the back some walkways and then doing artificial turf throughout this entire lawn so this will be our biggest artificial turf job to date today we're going to focus on the driveway portion of this job and so i'm going to be digging out we need six inches we need to go six inches down here so i can come in and bring the crushed concrete and it's going to be a straight shot to the road here right now the driveway kind of curves to the right and it's going to be going straight so that mailbox is obviously going to get moved this pile of dirt should be going today we have a walkway veering off here going to the door and then a straight shot down to the road there there will be a planter bed here in between the sidewalk and the driveway and wow look at that hole I know there's some stumps coming out of here today there's a huge stump here that they took out so I wonder if I'm going to be putting some dirt in this hole I mean there's plenty of dirt that could go in this hole here to fill that up but this was all underwater when I was here over the weekend checking this job out so thankfully it's all dried up now It'd be easier to work in but yeah I mean where this hole's at it's gonna be right in the middle of the driveway <laughs> driveway's coming straight right here that's the hole so we'll have to get that filled in today compacted I got the skid steer in the compactor so today I'm digging just digging out dirt and then getting it ready for the crushed concrete and the paver sand that's gonna be coming tomorrow so we got a whole skid steer day ahead of us today Alright, so I want to set up some string lines, use some string lines guidance, and then I got the laser level coming, so we'll eventually use the laser level, but we can do some string line work for now.
Awesome. How's it going, man? Hey, got a question for you. Yeah. Me. Is there anything that besides that pile of stuff you need us to move? No. Uh, well, that pile I was told was going to get out of here today because I got a walkway that's going from that door like yeah, straight through yeah. that pile down. Tony, I guess, said he was going to have somebody okay. come remove the big yeah. piles. Um, I just didn't know if you needed me to move. Like, he said something about some stumps and stuff. If he said there were stumps over there, but oh. when I was here on Friday, there wasn't that massive hole there. So I don't know if that yeah, was that, already I, taken care of. Fill in. Yeah. Because that's where that thing came out of. Right. Okay. So I just didn't know if there was, he said there was something in the way of, maybe it's that? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. I know there's some stumps around here he was talking about. Okay. So do you want me to hit this all with the stump grinder? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that'd be awesome. All right. Yeah, man. You got it. I just trying to figure out what exactly you need me to do. Yeah. 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 You won't be in my way working in this area. I got this whole thing that I'm going to take out and then I got walkways here that I got to take out. Cool. Okay. All right, man. I'm awesome. just waiting for my grinder, and then um, I'll cool. get all this out of your way. I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, so this, I was looking at the plans. This is going to come out five feet from the garage door, same width as the garage door, and then it's going to go into this planter bed that way, and it's going to be 18 feet. So this is 12 feet for the first five feet.
so the stump grinder guy is working on the stump that I found right in the middle of the dang driveway. So five feet here, it's gonna come out 16 feet to that stake. So I'm gonna start working on this area here. Septic lid. Yeah, this is, gray, this is gray water. Okay. So it's not septic okay. water, but it's gray water off the sink. Yep. But I think this pipe right here, we might have to dig it out and, and replace it. Okay. I think it makes it suck. Okay. It's like, it can't be that deep. I think that's a small tank. We might have to pop that and cover off and see. Okay. Yeah. I, well, right there is the five foot yep. line from coming out where it widens. So I started digging right there and then I hit it right away and I was like, uh oh, I don't know if he knew about that yeah, or. Shift this way a little bit. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. We're gonna go out. We still got the walkways up there. Yeah. My guy coming to move the piles. Okay. Piles over there. Yeah. Get, get there was a big, massive oak tree stump right in the middle of where the driveway is. That's what he's working on now. Yeah. yeah. So that's, so. Right, that's right next to where we pulled this out. I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I was hidden, I was digging, I was digging, I was like, uh oh, there's something huge right yeah. here. And then he came over and looked at it and started working on that. This is supposed to be just gray water, which I'm hoping is what it is. Okay. Yeah. If I might be alright, we might just leave it. We'll see. Okay. See where the tree came out over there? Yeah. I don't know if you want to bring a load of stone for that or what. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I would prefer to put rock in there. Yeah, we should probably put rock in there. Yeah. Put a load of rock in there. Yeah. yeah. We got some stuff right here. Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be in the way. Yeah, that's gotta go too. But yeah, I'd bring, I'd take my dump truck and come and put a load of, load of rock in there for sure. Something. Yeah, 57 exactly. You want to back this out of here so you can get that, so you can get the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I can move all this. You'll, you'll move that so you can get it stump for the stump grinder and uh it's time to move some more out of the way for them i got the plans and the laser level took some laser measurements we got 10 and a half inches of fall from the driveway to the road
So at this point, me and the stump grinder guy are kind of working in unison. I'm uncovering areas, finding stumps, and he's coming and grinding them down. And then whenever he gets too big of a pile of mulch, I just uncover it for him, take it away, and so he can keep going and working in a clean area. Um, thankfully, this guy was here today. I had no idea there was going to be a stump grinder here today, but the contractor knew better than I did that this yard was full, and I mean full, of roots and stumps everywhere. The area we're working on now, uh, they just transplanted that massive palm tree over there. Right there, you can see it now. Uh, from this area they took it out and moved it over about 20 feet so these are all the roots that we're dealing with from that and there's also an oak tree that you guys saw uh, well you didn't see the oak tree but roots oak tree roots that I was dealing with right next to that tree uh, the palm tree roots they're a pain but the ASV can pull them out it just takes a while I gotta keep prying up on them prying up on them and then they'll pop free um, the oak tree roots, the ASV RT40 is really no match for those. That's what I'm digging around right now. That's actually an oak tree right there. Um, a big stump of an oak tree. And, uh, yeah, I mean, thankfully this guy was here today. He made my life a whole lot easier. And also a full-size bobcat skid steer came on site to move out the dirt piles. And while he was here, I had him... Uh, work on getting that oak tree stump out so he helped out me and the stump grinder guy but this uh the contractor was telling me this entire front yard was full of palmetto bushes let alone that oak tree that's from forever ago i mean the homeowner who's lived there for 20 years didn't even know about that oak tree so it wasn't anything new that's for sure um but yeah a lot of roots a lot of stumps and uh just the not not the easiest working dirt that's for sure if there's any video on my channel showing the capabilities of the asv rt40 it would be this video uh this i was in the skid steer for 10 hours this day putting in work um comfortable ride can't say anything about the ride but it uh it's a very strong machine for its size. I mean, you could compare it to the Toro Dingoes, and it just blows the Toro Dingo, Dingoes out of the water. Um, anything with a 48-inch bucket that's a 4-foot bucket, this thing blows it out of the water. Um, great machine. Very happy with the purchase. Of course, I could get more done uh, with a full-size skid steer on a job like this for sure. But a lot of times with pavers... I'm getting into tight backyards, tight areas where a full-size skid steer cannot fit, and a lot of the walkways and stuff we do are four feet, so I mean the four-foot bucket for that is just perfect. I mean, it can't go wrong. Thing's amazing for four-foot sidewalks, digging those out. But I mean, you can see, look at all those roots. Those are palm tree roots, and they're just like a bush of roots underneath the ground. And uh, they're a pain. If you ever try to dig out palm tree roots with a shovel, you know you're not having a good day. Um, I've done, <laughs> done that many times. Uh, yeah, this the entire front yard here was all palmetto bushes. And then the palm tree roots I'm digging out is from that one big palm tree right there. And the root balls spread out probably around six feet from the base of the palm tree all the way around so it's like a six foot wide donut of palm tree roots um so wasn't the easiest thing in the world but got her done nonetheless in the next video it will be finishing up grading this driveway out and then also putting in the uh, crushed concrete had a fun time with that a lot easier spreading rock and grading rock than it is to dig out uh, a driveway that is full of roots that's for sure so got a lot of nice time lapses from that video i'm excited to edit that video all right now i'm working on this planter bed area the uh contractor wants me to bring it down because it is really high um so i broke the water main so i might as well do this for them I'm a little worried about there's 
guy showing up in a big bobcat he was able to just rip that oak tree stump right up and get it out of the way for me so huge shout out to that guy the crushed concrete dumped I'm gonna go ahead and take away the ramp that I just built the dump truck he's on his way back with the paver sand next I got a bunch of sleeves I gotta put in before I can spread this crushed concrete everywhere
at the end of the day today, I went to go dig out the walkway and found an even bigger oak tree stump. I even had the big skid steer come over and try and give it a shot, but he couldn't get it either. So he had to call the stump grinder back that afternoon, and I uncovered it for him, and he did it. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. The next video will be rocking this whole area.